heading off to church and it snowed again. Did it snow last night? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Once we get into the house, we have no idea what's going on. But it's pretty, huh? I think it's kind of pretty. It's already melting. We're in Colorado. Woohoo! Yeah. That'd have been cool if we landed up in the, in the ditch there right there. Yeah? Yeah. That'd have been awesome. He would have gotten us out. I know he would have. One time we went to, she said to me, think when we went to San Isabel, it's this, it's just like maybe 20, 30 minutes away, you know, like a little fishing hole we like to go to. And uh, everybody goes to. But, um, but it had snowed and he, he was like, let's go take a ride up there. Well, there was like about what, two feet of snow? And I said, oh, I was like, I really got to go to the bathroom. So he went to the restrooms and there was just snow drifts. And I, I don't know what he was thinking. He went through them. We got stuck. Wasn't that awesome? But we weren't upset. I was like, it's okay. I was like, we'll be fine because we're together. Right? Do you remember that? He got us out. So, I mean, it was no big deal. But, um, but I wasn't upset or anything. Can you imagine how many couples would have fought over that but not us you know why because I have went through a lot of that stuff and he and I just don't we just don't we're just like yeah it's okay I think it's because you start to get this um I don't know it's just it's just like why make big deals over stupid stuff like that I, you know what it is it's just like well if we're here still tomorrow, at least we'll be together. Frozen. <laughs> that was a fun day, actually. Just saying. Did you have fun that day? Yeah. Did you really? You don't remember that day? Oh, I remember, but I don't remember what day. Oh, but you don't remember if you had fun? Did you go down to the lake anyway or not? No, of course not. It was all frozen and we weren't prepared to go ice fishing. We just went, you know, but we, I mean, we were fine as long as we were on the road, but then he like drove up to the restrooms and he was being, see the thing is, is he was being kind because he didn't want me to have to, um, you know, go through those big old snow drifts just to get into the restroom. I could have just peed in the snow. <laughs> you know, so I did mean. Did you finally go to the bathroom? Oh, of course I did. Or else I would have in your truck. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So, but yeah, we're, we we got a pretty good, Joel and I have a pretty good thing going on. Okay. Um, um, I have some uh, good news and I have some bad news. Um, good news, they moved my surgery up a um, couple of weeks. So I have uh, surgery in about three weeks. Yay! How exciting, right? Joel's so excited because he gets to care for me again. Wasn't that enjoyable? Stay away from stairs. <laughs> it was a good two, three weeks that he really um, took the time out and uh, he really did. He really cared for me because you do after one of those surgeries, you need help. You, you definitely. And it wasn't easy. It definitely wasn't easy. And um, I, I found that. Um, so I really started to, you know, I'm like 12 pounds heavier, gosh, than uh, the last surgery, than I went into the last surgery. So I have to lose that weight. And uh, I know it looks like I gained about 30, but it was only 12. And um, so I've lost about three of it, but still. Um, so uh, what I noticed though is with the, like, the increase of exercise, I'm starting to itch again. Like, I'm starting to get rashes again, so I think I'm allergic to exercise. <laughs> Great, right? Yeah. Isn't that funny? You think it's psychosomatic? <laughs> so, um, so there you go. But that's not the bad news. The bad news is that Joel still won't let me go to the Spring Festival in Murfreesboro. That's bad news. I have the funds and everything. But he said no, because he said, you know what happened last time? Because it was just too soon after the surgery. So I'm really sad. I told him, I was like, I never get anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> but he's right. It was a tough. That was a tough. Uh, it was fun, but it was really hard still. Yeah, it was. It was really tough on me. I have to admit. I mean, I was. I was still swelling, and I mean, there was. It was. It was tough. It was tough. So yeah. So I'm allergic to um, sweat. I'm allergic to sweat. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I told you guys that. Remember, I said that I like I sweat a lot. I just got sweat glands or something. I don't know. So the when we uh, the other night, you know, my my guest, the guest that I was with, that I was the buddy with, she just wanted to dance, and she was in a wheelchair. <laughs> So she didn't get tired at all. <laughs> so three hours nonstop. It was about three hours, was it? Yeah. Six, seven, yeah, about three hours. We went we went dancing for three hours, almost straight. And uh, Joel came up and he gave me a hug and he's like, gross, because I was just so sweaty. And I was like, you know, my son asked, he was like, so mom, how do you dance? And I was like, I didn't dance. I jumped around. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't dance. I jump around. Well, you know, I, I bounce. Yeah, so. <laughs> I had a good time. Joel, did you have a good time? Sorry. Oh, you were such a... He did. He was smiling. And I could see... I could see that he had this, like, ease to him. You know? Like, he felt at ease. And he felt good. And he, he enjoyed... He enjoyed the guests. You really did, you big old lie. I know him. But yeah. I have, I've had some, some, I've had a really tough week, um, having to deal with some emotional stuff and some stuff that I've had to deal with and I kind of haven't wanted to. And, um, and I think it's stuff that I had to make decisions on. Huh? What did you say? Oh, and uh, and I didn't know what way it was gonna go, and I think though I I feel comfortable with what I'm choosing. Does that makes sense. You know, one thing I want to tell everybody, um, I know that because I have the YouTube channel and Facebook, and I know it's small, and I know. But, but a lot of people, sometimes you're afraid that I'm going to speak about your confidential stuff. You know what I mean? Um, you don't have to worry about that. I know that you've seen that I've talked about some things that have been confidential to other people. Personal. Personal, personal stuff. But they waged a war with me. And I have to tell you, if you're going to throw rocks at me, you know, and you want to be Goliath... I'm going to throw them back and, and I, I might hit you. I mean, and so you don't have to worry that, you know, uh, because, you know, like in Celebrate Recovery, everything is very confidential and, you know, and, and, and just in any group, in any group, it's confidential, you know, and here I can take that babe. And, um, and you don't have to worry that I'm going to, to speak of your your stuff because I know on Facebook there was some personal stuff that I put out about my life that has happened to me um, personally and stuff you know but um, you know I, I, I had to deal with some big time things to get past it you know I have to I have to get past it and, and, and it, it was gonna go one way or another and, and unfortunately it didn't go the way that I was hoping um, and, uh, you know, but sometimes that, that's what happens. And, um, but I had to get past it. I've, I've had to, one thing about Celebrate Recovery is that I've had to deal with the hard stuff. You know? And, and hard stuff isn't always something that's physical. Hard stuff is, the real hard stuff, it's not physical. The hard stuff is what happens emotionally in your families, in your relationships, you know, um, in your marriage. I mean, that's the hard stuff. Um, the physical stuff, that's not hard. 
So I, I let me get that straight. But I just want everybody to know that, um, you know, I, I know that some of you watch my channel and everything, and I'm not going to talk about anybody like that. I'm, I, I know what I'm, like I said, people know, everybody knows when you're doing right and when you're doing wrong. You do, and you can't say you don't. You, you know it, you know it. And uh, like I said, I've just, uh, I've had a few uh, Goliaths come my way in the past year, and you know, I, I had to, I had to face them. So, there you go. So if anybody wants to try on working on Joel to let me go to Murfreesboro, no, <laughs> he's not going to let me. I know that he's being smart, but I still don't like it. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Have a beautiful Sunday. Beautiful rest of your week. Um, God bless, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>